Hey YouTube, you might have been watching my videos recently, I've been messing about with the Casio MIDI guitar which is a guitar that's got a MIDI output, you can plug into a synthesizer or something like that A cheaper more modern version of such thing is this Boss synthesizer pedal which uh, I got lent, um, so I'm just going to do a wee demo video of it sort of It does far too much for me to really pick it up in a video that's not like 6 hours long so I'm basically just going to run through how it works um, it's got like a type dial on the end here so you've got strings, bass, pad, lead like two, two different versions of lead whatever they do um, organ, bell, SFX and SEQ which I've not actually got to yet either each one of those things has 11 different variations on it so you can tell that we're already at a pure ridiculous number of sounds so I'm not really going to sit there and just work my way through it I'm just going to have a wee general play about how it works um, it's also got a, an effect and direct dial, the first dial, the middle bits, how loud the effect is, and the outer dial is how loud the original guitar seat signal is. So with this, unlike my MIDI guitar, which is basically the MIDI guitar, I've got it plugged into a synthesizer or a keyboard, and then it runs into its own amp. This one you just stick straight in in line like a normal guitar pedal. It looks like it's got an effects loop on it as well. It's also got an, um, an exp cool, but exp CTL button, which I imagine is for like a a wah wah pedal type, you know, parameter changer thing, which is probably pretty cool. I do actually have a volume, like a volume pedal with an inset lead. I think would do it. Um, can't bother looking it out though; it would take too long. So rather than I've, I've, the previous videos of pedals, you know, I've got it sitting, you know, on a, a stand there so you can see it, but you don't really need to see it. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, as as I've got the the direct sound of the guitar turned off. And I'll just be, well, just now, a uh, tone, I just have to have it 12 o'clock, and then a variation, I'll just run through and see what sort of thing it does. But what I was more interested in was how the tracking worked and how it sounded. Um, the guy who owns this said that he was a little bit annoyed at the fact that the sounds on it are basically exactly what he's got, like the, the Roland GRG system says the sounds on it are pretty much the same sounds that are in this pedal, apart from this doesn't need fancy pickups and stuff. Because I'm a, 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 um, the guitar I'm going to use is, I'm going to actually use the MIDI guitar uh, output. So I'll stick it out into the guitar. So I'm, I'm actually going to use the MIDI guitar, but uh, as you can see, I'm just, this guitar has got like a normal guitar on it as well. Uh, so the MIDI stuff's not turned on. Um, I, I'm not using the MIDI output. I'm just using, using it as a general, as a normal guitar. Plug it in, turn it on, turn it on. We've got normal guitar. Let me just go into my Laney there. So I'll put this to... Let's try the basses. I've not even tried the basses yet. So as I said, this doesn't need to be uh, the MIDI guitar. I've just got a sort of perverse reason for using a synth pedal even though I've got a synth guitar. So I'll turn on the bass. Right, so there's the bass and I've got the guitar, like the, the, the direct thing turned off so it's just the bass coming through. Okay, that, that, so that'll be like a sort of synth bass sound then. Don't work. Not very much. As I said, there's 11 variations, so it's two. Sounds the same. Three. So basically, what I'm gathering here is the triggering on it is really pretty fast. Um, it's totally playable. So if I turn on the guitar, I've got the guitar back. So you can have you can, my 
going to the guitar, bass sound. What this doesn't do, which you can do with the the, the MIDI system or the, the MIDI system or the, the, the you know the, the pickup G, Roland GR G thing. This has only got one output, so it basically outputs it through your guitar amp. So you can't have like an example there. You've got to have a clean guitar sound because they're both coming through the same amp. So if I put the distortion on, which I'm not trying, let's see what happens. It distorts the bass sound as well. It distorts the synth sound as well as the guitar sound. So that's one minus two, I suppose. But I mean, that's pretty much outweighed by the fact that all, all you need for this is this pedal and you're away. Um, we'll give up the basses soon. Um, I think because when I'm, I'm using this guitar normally plugged into a synth, it's, it's like sort of synthesizing an actual bass sound, whereas this is more of a a synth, more of a synthesized bass sound, more of a synth bass sound, which also makes it much easier to play. It's much less. It's not. A, it doesn't have the same sort of triggering problems I've been having. You know, where you have to be really accurate, and this one you don't need to be really accurate. And just because it says bass on it doesn't mean you can't play chords. Which is a good place. Yeah, so if I go to pad, which in synth terms is a sort of. Isn't it? song the Queen of a very certain era had these sort of I'm just picking it random this is sort of a real synth for the MIDI output on this um, the sounds on this are all kind of ones that have been picked for being good with guitar whereas in the one when you're just running a regular synth it's like some of the sounds work really well and some of them you know it's kind of like you can't really play that on a guitar just for the physical reasons but I mean that's definitely got also it seems to work the opposite way around from the MIDI and the MIDI, it's like the, the, the high strings get picked up very well and the bass strings are a little bit um, more temperamental and you know, don't tend to trigger as well. On this, is the other way around. The bass ones work really well. And they, just, they don't seem to come quite the same on the high strings. Right, enough is what was that? Uh, lead, no idea what lead is. 
lead number one, I suppose. Sounds is eleven of each sound. Again, it doesn't seem to be picking up the thin strings quite as much as the bass strings. Could be these strings are old though. I'm playing through a guitar amp, a guitar amp and a retube amp at that, it's got quite a, a sound in its own so the, the ideally you wouldn't plug a synth into a guitar amp, you'd have it plugged into like a full range thing, a PA or an acoustic amp or a keyboard amp or in my case I'd be using a bass amp even though it's not ideal. Um, I might stick it into a bass amp to see what it sounds like but the problem is a guitar on its own would sound shit through a bass amp so the reason I'm doing it this way is the chances are you're going to be playing gigs with it and you'll just have a guitar amp set up. The trigger on it's fantastic, it really is. And you're hearing all these sounds, you know, straight out the amp and there no processing like that. In a mix, I'd imagine these are, that'll sound exactly like a keyboard. Mr. Roboto in your set list, you know, something like this would probably do. I've now said Mr. Roboto, so I'm really gonna have to try and play it, haven't I? Do, 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 do. I can't play Mr. Roboto, I've never tried. Yeah, so that was uh, strings, just a few spatterings. Organ. So we're thinking. Uh -huh. And don't slide notes because it doesn't. An organ, you can't slide an organ. So. synthesizer guitar some things the reason the way it doesn't sound like a, an organ is because you can't bend notes on an organ so it doesn't sound like an organ because you're bend, bending the notes if you know what I mean it's, it sounds something weird <laughs> Next one, uh, Bell. I don't think that's going to be much use. Yeah. Again, 11 variations in each one of these. Uh, 
I wouldn't have said it was really bell. I mean, when I'm using bell on the, on the, the keyboard, you know, it's dung, as in it sounds like a bell. What's well, brown and sounds like a bell. Because um, this seems to be more of a sort of a... Yeah, sort of... Right, what's next on the dial? I'm, I'm not running through all the sounds of this by any means. Uh, SFX. <laughs> Um, they're just, they've got to name the patches something. Still the F FX. And again, there's 11 variations of all these. So I'm not sure that wouldn't have fitted quite easily into the bass section. But definitely working. Uh, Yep, lots of lots of options, and the last one is a S E Q. Would that be sequence, maybe? <laughs> There's what there's a dial called depth, which is, I can see working. <laughs> I'm sure if you messed about with it, you're going to find Baba or Riley in there somewhere. See, I think this would be incredibly useful if you were, see, if you were doing a film soundtrack, especially if you were doing Escape from New York style film soundtrack. That's like, I think you can basically just get away without actually having to learn to bother playing the synth or programming it or buying the stuff to do it. <laughs> Definitely going to find something. Back to bass. Right, I don't want to 
talking about this for too long. It's already been 20 minutes. It's also got a, a base input, which as soon as I've got a base hanging on the wall there, I might as well see how that works. Because, you know, I do have the MIDI guitar, so I, I kind of don't need, there's not really much use to be. Well, in saying that, if you're doing a gig, you know, you could easily, so where, where did I see the thing that said, there was a switch on the back that turns it to bass, guitar to bass. So this is now up to plug a bass into it. This is obviously through a guitar amp as well, so not ideal. Bring a bit of the bass in, the actual bass. <laughs> Sabbath bloody Sabbath era stuff. That's kind of useful because you can just play the bass actually pretty normally. Maybe tune the bass rather than just having it hanging on the wall for months. And it just adds a wee bit of to it. Or you don't have anything else to put strings on. That's something that the synth pit, the synth guitar doesn't like as well either. If you if you've got the guitar out of tune, it kind of starts triggering different notes than the ones you're playing. Whereas this will just play. You're out of tune notes, no problem. <laughs> you know, if your guitar's if your guitar's playing in a, a D sharp like this one was instead of an E, oh, the synth, the, the pedal just played D sharp. Yeah, so this bass sound like a tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> 
into the dragon. Don't think it really works. Yeah, so again, um, although I'm using the MIDI guitar, I'm not using any of the MIDI controls on it. I've just got it plugged in with the one lead. Yes, so in conclusion, I think it's totally worth it. These are about, I think I looked on eBay. I think the RRP is about 200. I think I saw one on eBay for 175. It's a much, much cheaper and easier to use option than buying the Casio guitar or I think to the same extent the Roland one. Uh, I'm not sure what the expression pedal does in it. It's got a manual, but it's like a roadmap. Um, so I didn't really bother looking at that. I'm sure you, there's, if you look it up, there's more varied. This is like a sort of layman's terms, and I didn't end about this. Turn it on. What do you think? I can definitely think if you're in a sort of two guitar band, and you're either covering, you know, you've got a song where you're not really doing very much in the rhythm guitar, and you're kind of just thinking, wouldn't it be good if I could play some chords behind it on a synth? Damn easy, um, and it's 175 to quid. It seems like a no-brainer, really. Um, and even if you're thinking of getting the MIDI thing, because the 200 quid, I think, I don't think that buys you the rolling system, even second-hand. I think the 200 pound would maybe buy you either the pickup or the unit that it plugs into. I don't think you would get both. I think you're talking about 400 quid to get the both parts, whereas this is just one pedal. Um, yeah, so... I think it's fun. It's got, it's got far too many things on it. I kind of wish, I know they can't do this, but I kind of wish it had four sounds on it. You know, it had the best synth bass sound, the best strings, the best. But then again, who's to say that what I think is the best is the best. And obviously, if you're already going to the effort of putting in, you know, the, whatever the gubbins are that convert their sound into, then you might as well put knobs on to give lots of options. But um, I think there is actually an electro harmonics just organ pedal which i think is, a, is imagine a similar sort of thing to this apart from this doesn't just do organ um it's got 11 organs in it so i run over it again you've got two lead things so that's 22 sounds called lead which as you can see just because it says lead doesn't it's just, they just have to add to name crazy stints you can't just have crazy synth sound one to 22 and then pad which is your sort of yeah type things you know sort of slow attack One's a uh, bass, you know, 11 pads, 11 bass, 11 strings. The organ sounds, some of which are the sort of organ sounds you would want. You know, the sort of brrrr, Hammond organ from Barty Wild. That one was in there. I don't think I used it there, but I found it earlier on when I was messing about with it. I didn't just turn it on and hit record. I played with it for 10 minutes, maybe, messing about with it. Um, but the thing which I was worried about was the triggering, and it totally seems to trigger really quickly. There's virtually no latency. I think part of that's to do with the sounds that it's got though are sort of specifically designed for a guitar so you don't hear latency. Um, you can much more with this than with the, you know, using a MIDI guitar. And I must, I'm, I'm, my experience is with the Casio one, but I'm sure I think the Roland system is a similar sort of thing. Um, you don't need, you don't have to vary what you're playing as much with this. This kind of, you can just play exactly what you were playing before and this just adds synth on it. Um, because it's not really a synthesizer; it's an effects pedal. Um, so I think I mean you're noticing there. The, the 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 downside I would say there was, I'm not sure. I think the synth sounds would sound better played through a full range PA, but that would mean that you wouldn't have good guitar sounds for if you're playing the rest of this, the set on guitar. So maybe the option would be to have this on a like a splitter. But then you wouldn't be able to play them both at the same time. So I suppose what you'd do is you would turn off, or or maybe if you you know you had it split like a, a, a an AB box, it sends it into the PA, or something like that would maybe change things about a little bit. Mhm. Mm no, interesting, and it's not, I don't know if it's really one of those things. That maybe go into a shop and try it. But the problem is you're going to be there for hours and you're not you're either going to like it immediately or not like it immediately i mean there was a couple of sounds on there i wasn't really that keen on but most of them were good and it's like although the actual sounds aren't really that variable you know it's like i just don't like you know lead sound too well don't use it you know i don't think you can't there's one you've got a tone control and a depth control to like mess about with it but just don't use bleed sound two go to lead sound three maybe i'll like that one sort of thing sort of preset -y wise um and I didn't even notice till just before I hit the video that it actually says bass on the back as well. And it was working really well with the bass. 
so like a bass pedal if you're the bass player but I, I thought I was playing on the bass there I wasn't altering what I would play normally anyway so I mean you could really just play your song exactly the same as what you want and stick like strings or something or in the background and it'll just fill stuff out might be really good for, even for like one section like for the, the, the floaty guitar solo you know I'm, I'm in a band where I'm the only guitarist so like when it comes to my solo it's like way and then obviously all the rhythm guitar disappears so the bass would if, you, if the bass player had one of these and stomped it on it would fill it out a bit so it's not just the bass and the guitar you've got the bass with, a, with strings going on behind it that's kind of automatically triggering pretty well um yeah so fun pedal so not not a five minute review a 30, 33 minute review and i didn't even touch the surface of what it does um you can see i, I did about 10 videos for the casio guitar uh, there was just even more on that um because i was just plugging into entire synthesizers you know it's, um but definitely fun and i think I, it's kind of going to pay for itself quite quickly i think um I think these are quite a new, does it have a date on it? It doesn't. I think these are a relatively modern, like the last couple of years this has been invented. And technology does move on, even though you wouldn't think that looking at guitars and guitar amps. You know, I mean, my amps, like, I think they still make it and it's like basically the same type of guitar amp you got in the 50s. And the electric guitar in itself is pretty much exactly the same as it was in the 60s. So, and you know, the MIDI guitars in 1985 or something like that, I don't think they've really bettered it apart from. Now you don't need specialised MIDI pickups and synthesizers. You can just have one pedal and plug it in and go for it. So, yes, I would, if I didn't have the MIDI guitar, um, I would buy one of these. And I would probably, if I was really thinking about getting a MIDI guitar, I would probably buy one of these first to make sure it wasn't enough. And then maybe think later on. Because I mean, I'd imagine the expression pedal might fade in chords or something like that i'm not really sure what parameters it changed it changes it might do a different thing for each uh each parameter each um patch and the sequencer i'm sure baba o'reilly's in there i mean I, I was just flicking through it there's two but two banks of sequencers so there's 22 sequencer sounds so one of them is going to be baba o'reilly so it's almost if your band plays baba o'reilly live almost worth it just having that on, on the bass or on the guitar Rock and roll, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, catch you later, subscribe and